Pentel speaking. Now, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Of course, I've seen it. <laughs> What's that got to do with? You're kidding. Um, um, I I'll be there in. Pardon? Um, no, no, uh, no, there's no one at my door. Hello? Ash? Oh my God! Who the hell are you? Your door, it, it was open. No, it wasn't. Well, this point, is it really matter? I'm here to collect you. You just hung up on my boss. I mean, not my boss, but, you know... Oh, I mean, it's... Stop blathering, get out. Yes, quite right, fair enough. I'll start again. Stop. J just stop. What the hell are you doing in my home? I'm starting again. Listen, I came in, you asked who I was, I told you, you didn't believe me, so I thought I'd try pressing your door. Oh my god, just stop talking. Um, your boss. That's right. Uh, to collect me. Oh, she's on fire! <laughs> uh, to interview? God. Hmm. So, can we go? Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Um. I'll take this. Uh. You've got two minutes. I recognise you. From that thingy on telly. What was it? Newsnight? You were good in that. No. That was Coon's butt. Good to go. Great. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this thing set up, huh? Is there anything I should know? Do you need a quick zoom in, Trump? No? I guess not. Okay, in that case, you're good to go. <laughs> Give me a clear line. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's perfect. What do I call it? He, she, it. I, I use it. I mean, it just makes it easier, really. You'll see. But, uh... God doesn't care about pronouns. I mean, if you're unsure, stick to sir. Sir, I... I mean, if that bothers you, just ask. Okay. Anything else? Okay, you've got two minutes. Uh, anything else? Uh, yes, read the questions exactly as they're printed on the cards. Don't open those until you're asked for the first question. Okay. Got it. Uh, uh -oh. what, what should I be? How? Uh... Your reputation for asking straight questions got you here. It wanted you. It did? Don't be flattered. Enjoy stuff like that. Right. Can I ask my own questions? No. You can only ask follow-up questions. Of course. You did read your contract, right? Just sign every page at the bottom, please. Right, signature. I mean, it doesn't matter. 
It'll know what that means. <laughs> bin truck in the back. Hang on. Time for me to have a sip of tea. Thank you. Sorry this is taking so long. Is that? That's what I've been... That's not a bin truck and we're not on a flight path. Am I afraid? Am I afraid? Okay. Great! You are good, sir. What's your name again? What's your name again? Ashley. I'm I know everything about you. Todo sobre ti. I'm sorry you saw you. Can I drive me? I have terminado. El baño. Are you okay to make a start? Sure, good to go. Wait. Is this look okay? I think the casual look makes you feel more approachable, sir. Well, approachable is all the rage. Right. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to our monthly Q&A. Let's get cracking, shall we, Ash? Thank you, sir. Our first question comes from Jade, who is 15 and lives in England. Jade wants to know why, if you see everything and you are everywhere and you know everything, why did you let her brother die in a car crash? Starting off with something easy, eh, Ash? That's a really good question, Jade. Why do you think I did? With respect, sir, that's not really an answer. <laughs> with respect, eh, Ash? Starting on the front foot. I like it. Jade, I'm so sorry about what happened to your brother. I know that you miss him, and what you went through was incredibly painful. I can't begin to imagine how you feel, but let me tell you that Ricky is... Ricky is okay. He's safe. He's in my care. He's not in any pain. Again, he didn't sir, suffer... You are not answering the question. Do I need to repeat it for you? Um, Jade wants to know... I know what the question was, Ash. I know what every question is going to be. Jane, I'm sorry, it's not a very complicated answer. When I created you, I decided to give you all free will. Now, that means you have a choice about everything. The route you chose to take to school yesterday via that shop and the chocolate you decided to buy when you went inside. Can you imagine how unfair it would be if I decided everything for you? What your favourite colour was, what you got for your birthday and how long you lived for. Now the downside to all this free will is everyone has it. Nine and a half plus billion people all have free will. That's a lot of people, a lot of choices, some good, some poor. And sometimes people do things I wish they didn't, but they do. And sometimes people make mistakes without meaning to or maybe just without thinking. But each and every one of those decisions, each and every one of those choices affects the billions of other choices and decisions being made around the world at the same time, good or poor. Now, sometimes these choices collide and things go well, but sometimes they collide and the results are extremely painful. 
And because I gave you free will, I can't interfere. Your brother chose to cross the road, not at a crossing. At the same time as the woman driving the car down the same road chose to look down at her radio in response to a joke the DJ chose to tell at that exact same time. And these three choices combined and the results were the horrific accident that took your brother's life. I'm sorry Jade. And I hope that answers your question, okay? I, um, I do. Thank you, sir. Join us after the break for more questions. Don't forget, if you've been affected by any of the subjects in this programme, we have trained counsellors standing by to answer your call. The number will be on your screen now. Sir? Sir, can I ask? I guess not. Is anyone still there? Hello? Of course, Ash. How Is can I help? Ashley? Sorry, Ashley. Where did you, you okay? go? Yeah. He'll be back in a minute. What did God go off to do? I thought it was... Omnipresent? Well, yeah, that. It is. Really? I mean, it's here now. It's just you can't see it. Hmm. So... If I did this, really? they'll know, right? Put it back, please, Ash. What? Ah. Uh -uh. Really? You want to play games? Before the cameras start, um, what would you ask? Well, I stop. for coming back. Well, we started with a difficult question from a young lady named Jade about her brother. I thought you might like to know Ash. She uh, spent a few minutes break talking to her personally and she's doing okay. So, what's the next question? Oh, <laughs> the one you put at the bottom of the pack. Let's go with that one, shall we? Of course. Cindy from the USA asks, why did you create us? What's the meaning of life, sir? Another fine question. I know you're a painter, Cindy. If I were to ask you, why do you paint? You'd say that you feel the need to, you want to create. It makes you feel like you've made something special. Well, it's exactly the same for me, Cindy. I get a sense of fulfilment from you, all of you. From sharing your lives with you. Everything you do pleases me. I love, for example, the way that you move. I know it sounds strange, but just watching you dance or even just walk, it makes me feel like when I created you, I accomplished something special. Painting does it for you, Cindy, and you all do it for me. I hope that answers your question okay. It pleases you? That's the best you can do. Well, we are here for... No other reason than um, you woke up one day, um, if you sleep that is, and you decided you need amusing? No, 
I <laughs> basically be on your playthings. Hardly. I thought I made, oh, made yourself clear. I think you've done that. I hope my direct questioning pleases you. <sighs> Don't be cute. It doesn't become you. You made me like this. I'm sure you'll manage. I like you, Ash. You're not frightened. Frightened of you? <sighs> Hardly. You weren't a believer, were you, before? Before you decided you wanted to be on TV? And no. You don't pray now, do you? Uh, no. Um, I'd like to ask a follow-up question to Cindy's. Is that okay? No, of course. So, you've told us why we are here. The meaning of life for us. What's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life for you? Отличный вопрос. Okay, um, let me put it slightly differently. Why are you here? I don't think I can get away with asking you why you think I am. No. Хорошо. I suspect the best answer to give you that will make sense to you and those watching. In my existence, there is no such thing as here or there. Here implies there is a there. Somewhere else I could be instead. Ты понимаешь? I suppose. Um... Хорошо. I'm everywhere. All the time. In the oxygen you breathe, the water you drink, the cells in your blood, the atoms in dark matter. Я везде. Again, with respect, sir, you are not answering the question. It is fascinating to know the ins and outs of your omnipresent existence, but that is not what I asked. I asked, why? Why are you I here? I cannot answer that, Ash. Oh, my understanding of this interview, indeed the contract I signed, those many, many pages made it clear, you have to answer every question. So, an answer, if we can understand it or not, would be much appreciated. Russia. The short answer is, я не знаю. Pardon? I don't know how to explain it to you is what I mean. Я есть. Я существую. Разве этого недостаточно? No. Хорошо. Let's take a break, shall we? We will be back in five minutes. Well, fuck it up. You're doing well. Try not to swear in air, though. But yeah. it did. Yeah, well, it's gotten it. Kind of does what it likes. I noticed. Lovely follow-up question, by the way. They didn't actually answer it. Can they do that? Well, <laughs> it's God, after all, so. <sighs> kind of does what it likes. Hmm. You're catching on. We're back in two. Let's move on to the next question, shall we, Ash? No. I would like an answer to, well, no matter how hard it might be for me to understand, to my last question. Russia. You asked me? 
Why are you here? You don't own a cat, do you, Ash? What? No, you, <laughs> you know I don't. But you do know what a cat litter tray is. Oh, of course I do. What does a cat litter tray have to do? To do with why I'm here? Absolute nuts. This? I can't wait to hear. Do you think cats ever wonder where the dirty litter goes? What? I, I, I don't speak cats. How on earth would... No, я понимаю. But suppose you did. What would you tell them? Okay, okay, I'll play the game. Uh, I will tell them it goes into a bin uh, and then into, I, I don't know, a uh, landfill? Прекрасно. That's exactly what I tell them. Right. And? E. Will they be happier, more content, or reach some sort of deep understanding of their lives knowing that? I... I have uh, no idea. Probably not. Imin, they don't. And that is like me trying to answer this question, Ash. Мое существование вне времени, безгранично, уникально и тихо. And will be about as interesting to you as the landfill is to the cats. But if any of you wish to experience that existence, to visit the landfill as it is, reach out to me. I am here for you. No, before you do. You have my word as your God. It will change nothing in the quality of your existence. <laughs> How can you be so arrogant, so condescending and assume we won't change because of seeing something like that? We aren't cats. Amen. But do you think you are the first human to have asked this question, Ash? No, of course not, but... Several millions ask this very question every year, Ash. And I share my existence with everyone. So, have you noticed millions of people suddenly living happier, better, or more fulfilled lives, Ash? No, it would be headline news. The next question comes from Amit in India. Amit wants to know if there is only one of you. Sorry, uh, the question exactly as it was written. Uh, Amit wants to know if there is only one God. Thank you for this question, Amit. I was asked this a couple of shows ago, and I think the answer I gave then is a good one. Can we play back that recording? Uh, no, Amit is obviously a first-time viewer. Perhaps you'd like to answer his question personally. Very well. There is only one of me, Amit. However, a bit like your scientists are discovering with their study of electrons in quantum mechanics. What you see changes as it is viewed. Amit, you will see whatever it is you believe I look like. There are many images of a god, but behind each is me. I don't control what you think I might look like. 
Free will again, I presume. Exactly. You see what you want to see. No one's image is better than others. No one's religious claims are more important than others. No one should die because their belief is different to their fellow men. It's not important. I just wish... You wish what, sir? I wish people would stop killing in my name. Why would they do that, sir? I mean, you created them, us, me. If we or I decide to do something, it's because you gave us the ability to do so. Free will is paramount. You said it so yourself. The thoughts in our head are our own to choose or ignore. Our actions are our own to take. Are you saying now you wish you hadn't given us that free will? No. So what are you saying? I am saying I wish you could all see what I see. Every day. The common things that you experience, that unite you. Every time. Decade after decade. Century after century. There are more things that unite you than divide you all. But you choose not to see it. I only wish that you could. But if that's anyone's fault, it's yours. Pardon? That's your fault. You created us. Um, my understanding of what little religious text I've read is that when you created us, you decided it would be a loving gesture to create us with two natures, love and hate. Hate is an oversimplification. Okay, uh, let's call it um, not love. Is that better? It will suffice. Thank you. So uh, when you created us, you decided we should have two natures, love and not love. And you choose to create us with more love than not love. Would that be about right? Yes, in simple terms. That's my problem. If you are really bothered by the notion of free will um, that you have mentioned numerous times by now, even at that first stage, you would have given us the ability to choose, to choose what we wanted to be like, love or not love. It, it, it seems we have a tainted free will, a free will that is built on a choice arbitrarily made by you on our behalf. Any choice or free will we make after that, well, it's built on a choice you made for us. Our nature, you set it. You are responsible, no one else. We kill, hate, hurt and not love because of you. You made us that way. But surely it is more loving to create you more capable of love than hate. No. I think it's more loving to give us a true free will to make that basic choice. You didn't do it with animals. Why interfere actually, with us? I, did. I actually also have a problem with the notion that everyone must have a free will. Let's call it a rule. The you can't interfere bit is your decision not one that is imposed on you by anyone else. You could, in fact, override that rule. I mean, you are God, after all. Yes. Do you have a question, or shall we get back to the cards? My question is about the 3% of the world population that died in World War II. That's something in a region of 30 million people that perished because of one man's free will. Why did you allow that to happen? To allow a free will of one to end the lives of so many? How is that remotely okay? Free will is free will. I can't just change that. Well, you said you could, or is it more that you can't? No, I could. But I chose not to. Well, that's even worse. 
You're just a job's worth then. I am... 30 million people can die and that's okay with you? Shut up. I know I bloody swore. You know what? I've had enough of this. All knowing. All loving. My ass. Let's take a break, shall we? What do you want? I quit. I, just leave me alone. You can leave. You won't be paid. And the powers that be above me will probably take you to court. For breach of contract. Yeah. I don't care. I can't do this. God's not even trying to answer my question. It's just messing around. And to be fair, God did answer. It's just... You didn't like the answer. What? Well, you didn't give it time to answer the one on the wall before you stormed out. But God did answer everything else. It's just... What? You didn't like the answers. Do you know what I don't get? Every night, every single night on your news programme, you've got politicians ducking and diving, dodging and weaving your questions. You don't flounce out on them, do you? No. They are politicians. I expect them to lie. I expect to dig for the truth. And you're not doing that with God because... Uh... <laughs> Shit. They're playing me. You really are catching on. We're back in two. <clears throat> Welcome back, Ash. I was enjoying our conversation. I am glad you were, sir. I have a follow-up question. About? Free will. Okay. So, um, I am... We established that the deaths in World War II were a consequence of choice. As is, um, I'm guessing, every act of violence that has happened or is going to happen. Hmm. But, um, what about the people dying of cancer, leukemia, meningitis, AIDS, heart disease, the babies dying of brain tumours, the earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, drought, famine, I, I could go on. Are you honestly trying to say that we are responsible for these? We are waiting. It's all about balance. Balance? You are going to have to do a lot better than that. In simple terms, all my creations have free will. And through that free will, they all tip between positive and negative energy. Suffering and the terrible things you describe are simply the outcome of this need, this natural want for balance. Everything I created has it. Everything strives for it, for balance. Um, well, uh, I'm completely lost. It's not easy. Maybe I can put into a document for you, email to everyone. There, it's done. You've got mail. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? If you read it and have any questions, then reach out. I am here um, for all of you. Well, uh, I think... I think uh, we have time for one more question. That I can answer after the break. Perfect. Right. Okay. Um, so this 
Next question comes from Sophie in Moscow. With so many of us to care for, look after, how do you do it? How can you be everywhere at the same time? I am sorry about last night. I know, I... Look, you... I was drunk. Um, I didn't know what I was saying. It, it, it came out wrong. It's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm actually just. Oh, you're watching. Um, what do you think? Um, I've not lost weight. Um, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about mum. Um, uh, Dad, I, 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 I have to go. Um, I'll, I'll ring you soon. Mm -hmm. Love you. Bye. Bye. I've got an awful headache. Have you got any pills? Behind you. What? They're, um... They're behind you. They fell right out of your cardigan. In your flat. We're back in two. Thank you for coming back. Before the break, Ash Welcome back. We've had some great questions today. I hope you are enjoying the show. Don't forget that the whole program is available as a download and podcast one hour after broadcasting. And you can email, text or phone us your questions today for the next show using the details on your screen now. And now, Ash, onto that question you asked me before the break. Of course, sir. A reminder for our viewers at home. Sophie from Moscow wants to know, how can you be everywhere at the same time? That's a great question. It's basically all about time. Okay, I... Let me draw something for you. See if it helps. It's Gary, can I have a white one, please? And a pen. So, here is you, Ash, when you were born. And that's where I die? Indeed. Now, 
what happens in between is your life. And these are the events in your life. From when you discovered you had toes, to when you first walked, to when you got this job, to when you retire, move house, and so on. Am I going to have a long life? I can't answer that. You know everything, surely. I could know. I choose not to. It's easier. But if you want to imagine all your life, that's here, in my mind. Wrapped in little parcels. I don't unwrap those parcels because I don't want to risk telling you something about your life that you shouldn't know. Sh shouldn't? Um... Surely, I, I am the one to decide what is best I do or don't know. You'd imagine so, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, I, I would. I, I do. Okay. Do you want to know when you're going to die, Ash? Um, you could tell... Yes, of course. I know everything, remember? I'm like that email that your exam results are in. I know the answer. You just need to click open. I just need to unwrap the parcels. Well, shall I? Um, no, no, I... You see, there are some things I think are best not known. Imagine how it would change your life. That one date and time. Your life would never be the same again. <clears throat> um, I can see that. Um... Let's um, move on from my death now, shall we? <laughs> Good idea. So to recap, this line is your life and the events are the dissecting lines. You experience the time it takes to get to the start, to the end of your life, in sequence. You describe events as having happened, are happening, and are going to happen. Does that make sense? Um... Yes, I'm... I think so. Good. So you can't go back and change an event, and you can't go forward to skip things out. You experience the moment, and then it is past. That is how you experience time. Mm -hmm. I... Exp how? In simplest term, I am the whiteboard. I can see everything and can be in all three locations, the past, the present, and the future. As the board is, all at the same time. Would you agree, Ash? It does, somehow. <laughs> now imagine everyone's lifelines on this board. That is how I can be everywhere, for everyone, all the time. Would you agree that makes sense? It does, somehow. Good. <laughs> I have a follow-up question, though. If you are the board and we are the lines on the board, then What occupies the space around the board and, and can observe the board and the lines on it in a completely different arrangement of time? Gary! What is the answer? I can't tell you that. 
Hmm. But you have to answer every question. We, we've been through this. You misunderstand me, Ash. I can't tell you. Because... I don't know. But you are all-knowing, powerful, omnipresent and... I'm sure one day I will find out. But as of now, I don't know. If that is startling or alarming to you or anyone watching, I apologise. Um... You apologise? Until two months ago, everything you have known about me has been created by humans. Would you agree? I don't know. Up until recently, everything related to the existence of me has been written by humans. Mostly by men. What sin is, what praying is, what heaven is, everything like that. The source is man. Not me. Do you really think I want you to get on your knees and tell me how glorious and wonderful I am? Do you really think I created the universe in seven days? No. None of this is my making. None of these rules are my making. Yes, but... Religion is a human invention. I'm not. I exist. I am. That's it. I'm sorry if the invention has misled. What you might have thought I was like before this point is at best fiction. It would be like asking an ant to describe the inner workings of a computer. It's not the ant's fault it can't understand the question, let alone answer it. It's just the way it is. The key being, and the reason I say I don't know, is just because I can't envisage it doesn't mean it's not possible. I'm like that ant. That might be uh, a little shocking to some people. Indeed. But I'm confident. If you have any questions I can answer, I'm here. For all of you. halfway through our interview and I've just been informed we have 3.2 billion people watching and listening. 3.2 billion. That's the highest we've ever had, Ash. Well done. <laughs> well, the credit is all yours. As our good people are fascinated by you, they will want to know more about you. You are the ultimate celebrity. Celebrity. No, I don't like that word. <laughs> um, you have your own TV show. You are probably the most famous being in the known universe. There's only one of you. Need I go on? No. I, I see your point. And yes, I can see why people want to know more about me. This process of talking to you is pretty much new to me. I'm, I'm not used to having interactions like this. 
there were more of us once. I haven't discussed things like this for a long, long time. Anyway, uh, could I have that question again, please, Ash? Um, in a second, you just said there were more of you once, as if that's no big deal. Yes, there were. Well, where have they gone? I don't know. You don't know? It was billions and billions of years ago in your understanding of uh, but time. You are the board our timeline is written on. You know everything, see everything at all times. How? That was an oversimplification. I, I can't explain how time operates for me. It'd be kind of like trying to explain the computer to an ant. Remember, it would be a meaningless answer to you. Okay, okay. Let's come back to that. Um, who were they, sir? I don't remember. That was epic! The viewing figures are through the roof. The press are going nuts. My name is Bloody Ashley. <laughs> you just got God to reveal something that is probably going to change the entire world. And you're bothered about me shortening your name. Okay. Ashley. I like detail. Detail is why I'm good at this. Detail and research. It's what I do. If you spent five minutes researching me, you'd know that. You'd also know that I hate being called Ash. You'd know that I got fired from the beep because I hit someone with a clip ball. This clipboard for calling me Ash. But obviously, you didn't bother doing any research, so goodbye. I'll oh, just, just sod off, really. Yeah. Jesus, everyone's a bloody critic. Okay, so where were we? You were telling us that there were others with you billions of years ago. Yes. Hmm. But you don't remember them now. No, I don't. What's your point, Ash? Well, <laughs> judging by the yelling and hysterics in my ear, that's a pretty big thing for us to hear, that you are not the only one. No. I am the only one now. Yeah, but where did they go, these others? What were they like? What did they do? How many were there? Like I said before, I don't know. And just because you ask the same question repeatedly, more loudly, it doesn't change my answer. I don't remember. It was that long ago. But you claim to be all-knowing, all-powerful, omnipresent, and without end. Yet, here we are. <laughs> you are saying you don't remember these others. Hmm. Um, well, so actually, doesn't that make you unreliable? And, and if you are unreliable about that, why should we trust you on anything? Faith, Ash. Before you knew me to be me, real, many of you believed in me. 
They did so through faith-based, purely on writings that were done thousands of years ago. Yet now, now you've got to know me a little bit, a little bit. Suddenly I'm less believable. You might have less faith in me. If any of you honestly feel that, maybe your faith isn't quite what you thought it was. You sound angry, sir. I am angry. Um, with respect, sir, I suspect you might have pissed off quite a lot of people with that last remark. Would you like to address that? No. N no? I am there and you're God, Ash. I can do whatever I want. You don't have to like it. Next question, Ash. So, um, God can get angry. Interesting. Next question. <clears throat> no. 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 No? Why do you get balls big enough to say that to me? Let's take a break. We'll be back after these messages. Why the control? You needed to step away. What? If we hit God with your clipboard. Oh, ha bloody ha. What is it playing at? It has to answer the questions. I... Of it can't. Huh? Well, you can see that God's anxious. <laughs> it's all new to them, <laughs> shit. It's new to all of us. You've got... the interview of... Uh, I mean, I... I don't think there's even a word for it. You've got the mother of all interviews. Don't blow it by getting angry with it. I mean, if anything, get angry with me. That's what I'm here for. I've had worse than the clipboard. You ever been smited? And it fucking hurts. Look, it's all good. Just take your foot off the pedal. Circle back round to the question. What's the next question? I'm not allowed to look. Okay, just... Just wait here. Um... Hey, um... It's me, again. <laughs> Leaving you a um, voicemail again. Um, I uh... please pick up. I I know you're there. Please. Okay, I've got. Uh... Um, I I I won't ring again. Um, I just. Uh... I just wanted to hear your voice one last time. Um, I, uh, I have to go. Uh, love you. Yeah, yeah, um, good to go. Um. <clears throat> okay, this is the next question. And I'll email it to you. Um, how did you... The world, quite literally, is watching, Ashley. And the powers that be think you need all the help you can get. Mm. God will know, won't it? Well, yes. But... <laughs> no. Thank you. Um, and, um... 
Thank you for earlier. You were right. Yeah. I normally am. Oh, modest too. <laughs> we're on in two. Have you got your uh, clipboard? Over the break, I was told we now have 7.1 billion people watching. That's a world record, apparently. More than 90% of the world's population. And, and the Pope has emailed in a question. I'd love to see what... Sorry, I had some things to deal with. Okay. Well, uh, welcome back, sir. Um, shall we move on to the next question? That would be great. Not the Pope's, though. He doesn't get to push in. Fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, the next question um, comes from Jim in Canada. <laughs> Jim wants to know, what's your favourite joke? What a wonderful question. Thank you, Jim. I'm not very good at telling jokes. Anyway, so God, me, is having a conversation with Vishnu, also me, but let's not go there. Too complicated. Anyway, Vishnu asks me, where are you going on holiday this year? I reply, I'm not sure. How about Earth, says Vishnu. Earth, says I. Gosh, no. Went there a few millennia back. Got a little drunk. Got a local girl pregnant. We haven't stopped talking about it since. Um, very good, sir. Um, where did you hear this joke? Your fellow man, Ash. You are so creative. It's wonderful listening to the stories and jokes you tell each other. And share with me. Hang on. So, um, you can listen in to any conversation? Yes. <laughs> but I have to choose to. Social media has made it a lot easier, though. It's... Wait, um... You use social media? Of course. Who doesn't? Uh, me, for one. And you call yourself a journalist. <laughs> Surely you should be using all sources for your research. I am what they call a consumer. I don't have personal accounts. So you just watch? Um, yes. Is there something wrong with that? No, actually. I can relate to that. Hmm. Shall we move on to the Pope's question? Of course, sir. I don't think we need that. Better? Right. Ash, over to you. Okay, uh, his question, oddly enough, relates to your joke. I know. Hmm. So, uh, the Pope wants to know, what the hell? Not hell, human. Oh. Someone's hacked the video stream. Everyone okay? Of course. But who the hell would do... Well, we get the odd die-hard religious folk, you know. You think this is all a scam and God's a fraud? Excuse me a moment. Where is... Yeah. God tends to deal with them. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. We're back in two. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. What? Oh, that. 
Okay, shall we talk about it now? No, get out of my head. Welcome back. Apologies for the technical difficulties. I can assure you they've been dealt with. I'm ready for the Pope's question. The Pope asks, was Jesus real? That's an important question. There's a simple answer. No, he wasn't. Well, um, something tells me you just broke every Christian. I'm sure they'll survive. The truth matters after all, doesn't it, Ash? Yes. Um, about the Pope's question, I'd like to clarify your answer. Of course. So, um, Jesus wasn't your son. He didn't exist. In the time the Christian Bible stories were set, people were going through terrible things, put upon them by their fellow man, a negative phase. There was a group who expressed the belief that humans should love each other more, tolerate each other more, live more harmoniously. This group was the positive force, like I mentioned earlier, the balance was trying to swing the other way. There were leaders of this community called Jesus. It was a popular name at the time, but none were my son and none were born of a virgin. Thank you, sir. Shall we move on? Maybe we should take a break first. I suspect I may be needed elsewhere. I'm just not sure you understand the significance of what's happening here, Ash. Ashley. <laughs> what gives you that impression, Ga Gary? <laughs> That's quite funny. It's just the powers that be think maybe we need to get someone with a bit more I don't know, theological knowledge asking the questions from now on. You don't get it, do you? Have you even been listening? <laughs> Hang on. Look. I... The point of all this is that the theologian is probably even less equipped to handle the answers than I am. As it said, how can an aunt possibly understand a computer? Well, how can someone who spent decades studying religion and making statements about it suddenly deal with the fact that everything they've said is wrong? How is that better? No, it doesn't matter. As it happens, I agree with you, but your contract says we can swap you out at any time, and the decision's been made. It's not my decision, but you're out. What does God think? We... Jesus. You haven't cleared that with God. Wow. Good luck explaining that to it. Enjoy. Welcome back. Today's audience figures are off the chart. Thank you for watching. This is history in the making. And now, let's welcome to the set our new question caster, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the most reverend, Jake Voss! <laughs> um, we appear to be experiencing some technical difficulties. We'll be right back after these messages. Ash?
actually eh? you were right and I've been sent to get you back please before you go it says it won't do any more of the interview without you and besides in the press out there. Shit. We're on in two. I'm glad to have you back, Ash. Thank you, sir. I, um saw the archbishop on the news he didn't look um happy shall we say shall we progress to the next question certainly sir uh, i um i know what you're thinking ash but just read the question as it is right um The question is from Karim from the Sudan. He asks simply, what about the Kwanis? For those watching who speak Arabic and are gay, I am sorry about the use of that word. Currently in the Sudan, homosexual activity is punishable by the death penalty. There are more than a hundred countries where being gay is illegal. To answer what I think is your question, Kareem, no. I don't believe that you should put someone to death for being in love with or having a relationship with someone of the same sex. Gardini. I trust that answers your question, Kareem. Mm. I hope it does, sir. No follow-up question, Ash? No, sir. Good. Next question. Logan from Canada wants to know if we are alone. Are we the only life form you have created? That's a great question, Logan. Thank you. Someone asked this on the first show, but I know you won't let me play that recording, Ash. Okay. No, you're not alone. There are many other life forms out there in space. They've evolved according to their environment. Some nothing like humans, others very much like you. So um, the little man we call aliens are real? There are some like that, yes. But that species has not yet invented space travel to allow them to visit you. Are there any that have, uh, uh, that do? So, um, the little man yes, we call aliens. Yes, they are visit real. often. Oh, they have no interest in probing you in any way. Was that another joke? You might be improving, sir. I am trying. Do you have any other follow-up questions, Ash? Yes. Um, if they visit us often, what do they do? You'd have to ask them. What do they want? Again, you'd have to ask them. Okay. How? Well, um, they really love meatballs, so... With respect, you, you really need to work on understanding want. when a joke is an appropriate answer. With respect again? Okay. I'm sure when they're ready to talk to you, they'll make themselves known. That's unhelpful. A while ago, Ash. Yeah, these are my answers. You don't have to like them. You're right. I don't. So... Shall we shall we move on to the next question, Ash? That's fine. Unhelpful. 
Ayan. Okay. Next question is from Linna in China. She would like to know if there is life after death. That is another great question, Lina. Thank you. The simple answer is, I can't tell you. That's not an answer. Shall I clarify my answer, Ash? As much as I love this to and fro we have, sir. You know, when you get asked a question, you don't answer it. Then I remind you of the rules. And then you say what you actually meant to say. Can't we do it the easy way? Just answer the question first time. Very well. Telling you what happens after you die, Lena, would be worse than telling you when you're going to die. How? Shall I carry on? Please, we are waiting. Lina is waiting. Thank you. Lina, forgive me. I am not trying to avoid answering your question just to be irritating. The simple truth is, knowing the answer will completely change your life, and not in a good way. Why? I see uh, she's scribbling that word very, very heavily in her notes. It all comes down to belief. Belief is what I call a fundamental it's what's at the core of you, um, of what makes you, you. That free will I gave you, part of that is being able to choose what you believe. That belief is part of your life in, in, in a million different ways, from every day, yes, from from what you think is right or wrong, what you believe is uh, acceptable behavior, what you, what love is, what, what you, what you might believe is, is worth dying for, uh, what gives you hope, and what you believe happens after you die. These are all matters of belief about the choices you make freely and which can give life meaning. If I answer your question, Lena, I would I would take away that vital part of you. I, I would I would take from you that core notion of free will, that you have this choice about belief. And I will not do that. I realize I, I have not answered your question, Lena, but I hope that I have at least explained why I'm unable to answer it. If my answer here makes no sense to uh, anyone or watching or, or, or listening, reach out, talk to me. I'm confident that I, that I can find a way of explaining it to you. Shall we progress to the next question, Ash? Um, <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, 
sorry. Um, uh, it comes from Czech in Australia and Right. Ich glaube nicht, dass dies den Menschen in Australien etwas ausmachen wird. Uh, to Jack's question. And as we are moving hey Jack. to the off script portion of the program, it's a question I'd like an answer to as well. Wunderbar. Jack would like to know. Why have you chosen to appear now? Das ist eigentlich ganz einfach. Okay. And? Die Menschheit ging auf ein Ereignis zu, welches sie umgebracht hätte. Seeing as you let millions of us to be wiped out in a world wars I mentioned, why is that suddenly a problem for you? Uh, I don't understand. Vielleicht muss ich mich etwas deutlicher ausdrücken. Please. Nicht ein einziger hätte überlebt. What? Eure Wissenschaftler nennen dies wohl eine Ausrottung aller Lebensformen. What was going das to... kann ich nicht beantworten. I thought you were here to answer every question. Apparently not. Was auch immer im Vertrag steht, Ash. Nein, ich kann diese Frage nicht beantworten, ohne ein Menschenleben zu gefährden. Und das kann ich unmöglich tun. But, but you just said, you interfered to save all of us. Uh, your rules seem a little flexible. Und wieder verstehst du mich falsch, Ash. Wie auch immer du es ausdrucken möchtest, ich kann meine Erschaffung weder verletzen, seelisch oder körperlich, töten oder bestrafen. But Was ich unternommen habe, wird niemanden verletzen, jedoch euch alle retten. Ich weiß nicht, warum dieses Konzept so schwer zu verstehen ist, Ash. But you are supposed to be all powerful, all knowing. Du klingst wie eine hängende Schallplatte, Ash. I beg your pardon. Ich drücke es mal höflich aus. Vielleicht wirfst du mal einen Blick in deine Notizen. Alles, was du über mich weißt, ist menschliche Erfindung, richtig? With respect. <lacht> right. Oh. Maybe this is a good time to take a break? Nein. Nicht jetzt. Das hier ist wichtig. Fine. Is there anything else you would like to say about Jack's question? Danke. Ich gebe dir noch ein paar Details. Ich weiß, du magst Details, Arsch. Ich habe mich eingemischt, um euch alle zu retten, indem ich euch erschienen bin. Letztendlich habe ich mich eingemischt, weil jemand mit offensichtlich sehr starkem Glauben der Auffassung war, ich wolle einen Krieg, bei dem jeder sterben würde. Ich will das nicht und ich habe das auch niemals gewollt. Ich hoffe, das beantwortet deine Frage, Jack. Hast du noch eine weitere Frage, Ash? No. But I'm worried. Since your answers today, we are now in a position where fact has replaced faith. And as you said earlier in the program, there are some things just best left not known. Uh -huh. There are a lot of people with faith who will now look at their lives and think, how will they continue? How will they reimagine their lives to include the true version of you? That worries me. People are terrible at managing change. You have not as much as moved the cheese, but replaced it with a cow. How are we supposed to deal with that? Das ist ein schöner Vergleich, Ash. 
Warum sollte sich etwas verändern? Gerade eben, im Vollbad, bei dem ich dich so ungehobelt unterbrochen habe, hast du dich nicht ein einziges bisschen verändert, selbst mit allem Wissen, welches du nun besitzt. Ich will auch gar nicht, dass du dich veränderst, nicht solange du tust, was für dich richtig ist. Freier Wille, verstehst du? But you agree. Those who believed may now have a harder time doing that. Da könntest du recht haben. Aber ihr müsst da nicht alleine durch. Nehmt Kontakt zu mir auf. Ich bin da. Ich bin für euch alle da. Thank you, Sir. Noch weitere Fragen, Ash? No. Dann sind wir fertig. Danke an alle für die Fragen. Ash, danke, dass du dir die Zeit genommen hast. Und Gary, danke für die saubere Abwicklung. Ich hoffe, ich sehe euch alle sehr bald wieder. Ich liebe euch. Friede sei mit euch. Can I just ask one question, sir? Natürlich, Ash. Um, why, despite knowing me as well as you clearly do, you spend the entire conversation calling me Ash, not Ashley? Are you just trying to annoy me? Ja. Yeah. What? Dir müsste man, wie sagt ihr so schön, müsste man ordentlich den Hintern versuchen. I beg your pardon? Wartet nicht die Badewanne auf dich. That's none of your business. <lacht> Nun, soll ich für dich nachsehen? At what? Das letzte Kapitel in deiner Geschichte. Um, um, no, no, I mean, you don't control me. No, no, I, I have free will, remember? Ach, shit. God. Here. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to step out of the way, please, sir. My partner needs to put a stretcher here. Do you know your door's broken? Yes, that was me. Ashley? Look at me, sweetheart. My name's Gary, okay? We're gonna get you fixed up, yeah? You. How do you know her name? <laughs> I'm a big fan of your Ashley. News night, isn't it? Oh, it's Kunzberg. Of course it was. I just fucking with you, Ash. Why do you look like a shit Yuji? <laughs> <laughs>